Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Gay for Scratch. Today, we're going to cover some news that, honestly, I don't know what I think of this. And that is that Autodesk have just introduced brand new flexible pay-as-you-go pricing. It's called Autodesk Flex, and it's exactly what it sounds like. Basically, you can rent or use Autodesk software on a day-by-day -day basis and pay for it accordingly. So uh, we're taking a look at the Autodesk Flex uh, pay-as-you-go page. Uh, it is available for a number of different products, the most important of which, at least on this channel, uh, you can see here 3D Studios Max is in there. Uh, oddly enough, it's under Architecture, Engineering, and Construction. Uh, but Maya is there, Max is there, Mudbox is in there, Flame is in there, Motion Builder is in there. Uh, so if you are looking for uh, using, even Recap Pro is in there. So if you are looking to use this for game development, well, all of the major software is covered on this day-to-day -day basis. And you'll notice each different program has a different cost. So it takes uh, six tokens, like six quarters per se, uh, to use 3D Studios Max or Maya, whereas Mudbox is a single token. Motion Builder, again, is six tokens. So instead of having to buy all of these suites outright, you basically buy them on a pay-to-use basis. And the question is ultimately going to be, is it a good deal? And that is going to come down to your use. So basically, let's do an overview of how this works. First, you can see you buy your tokens for the team, the team, which by the way, so if you have multiple people working very occasionally in Autodesk software, this is an amazing deal because you can kind of share out the tokens between an entire organization. Uh, you assign users to flex in the account. You use the token. That whenever they open a product up, it basically consumes that day's worth of tokens. So for example, if I open up 3D Studios Max or Maya, it takes up six tokens until 24 hours has elapsed. So if I use it, say, starting now, and then I use it tomorrow morning at 10 a.m., still covered. If I use it tomorrow, on, oh, by the way, it's 1.30 right now. But if I use it tomorrow at 2.30, won't be covered. So it's a 24-hour rental window, takes up a different amount of tokens depending on which product you're dealing with, with Flame being super expensive, uh, Max and Maya again being six tokens a day. So the devil is of course going to be in the details. How much does this cost? And well, let's go take a look at the token estimator. And you're going to see that very quickly, you are better off getting a subscription if you are anything more than an occasional user. Uh, by the way, let's go check out that first too. So that's going to be important as well. All right, so there you see the base price here is $1,700 a year. That is the uh, buy upfront cost. So a monthly cost would be higher than that, more like two grand. Uh, but if you are subscribing upfront, it's $1,700 a year for 3D Studios Max. I believe Maya is the exact same amount. So let's head on back over here. We'll pick the product and we'll use 3D Studios Max as our example. Uh, if you buy 500 tokens, it's cheaper. So 500 tokens will get you for $1,500 of use. By the way, you could also do, um, you know, 250 tokens worth of Max and 250 tokens worth of Maya, or you could do like uh, 200 tokens of Max, 200 tokens of Maya, and then a whole ton of Mudbox or however you want to split them up. So that's one of the things about this is it does free you from which product you want to work with. So what's the cost going to be? All right, so we got 3 Studios Max, six tokens per day to use, uh, one user, all right, so here we see after two days, still less than 500 tokens, three days a month, four days a month, five days a month, six days a month, seven days a month, it became a waste of money. So there you see, if you are working with a product of less than six days in a monthly basis, it's cheaper to get tokens. And if you are using way less, um, you, you can get it quite a bit cheaper. Now the pricing is, let's see, let's go back on over here. Um, pricing by tokens. So you can subscribe and get more tokens at a diff, diff, discounted rate, or you can buy them bulk up front. By the way, this isn't available until September the 24th. So you got about 11 days before you can actually do this. Uh, but if you buy 10,000 tokens up front for $28,000, it's $2.85 a token. So it looks like, oh, that sucks. It looks like the minimum number of tokens you can actually buy is $1,500. That is not great. Is there actually, is that the minimum? Uh, larger quantities are available. Yeah. Okay, do not like that aspect because then if the people that wanted to only just use it for like 10 hours, 15 hours a year or if they got sent a file and they need to do something quick to it and just want to want to use it as a transactional like a two or three day basis, uh, but it doesn't look like you can get 
Ooh, that sucks. All right, so that really kind of ruins it there. If you could buy like a hundred tokens, uh, that opens it up to another market, and that would be you know 150 bucks, and that is much more accessible. But if this in fact is the minimum purchase, you're basically at the cost of a subscription. You know, again, subscription $1,700 on a yearly basis. This $1,500. Eh. Uh, that's unfortunate. Hopefully they change that later on. And again, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna scour the the FAQ. See if it says anything. Okay, I find nothing that shows that you can buy less than 1,500 tokens at a time, which in essence ruins this for me, in my humble opinion. For the people that are on the flex area of things, more on an economic, so I don't use this that much, but I need to accomplish this for a couple of days at a time. That was where it made a lot of sense. But suddenly, you know, you're looking at most subscription. Most people work about 20 days out of the month. And this one, the break-even cost is at six days, seven days. So that sucks. And they really missed the boat on that one, in my opinion. They should be offering 100 tokens kind of as the minimum. You have like a whole bunch of flexibility there. Uh, by the way, there are no discounts. So if you're a nonprofit or student, screw you. You're not included in this one. Uh, you can have a mix of subscriptions and flex in your team. Um, you have one year to use your tokens. If you don't use them in the year, you lose them. Uh, that's terrible. So the only way this actually was really kind of useful to me, in my humble opinion, then, is if you have a team of people that you could share licenses between, I guess. Uh, but for individuals, there's, there's no point here. So it was a great idea ruined by execution. I think we could call it greed. I don't mind the idea of literal pay-as-you-go software because a lot of people, especially if you are, say, an indie dev, um, who is a programmer and a this and a that and an artist, potentially you don't use uh, something like Max or Maya more than once or twice a week. In which case, this is, if you do it once a week, this is cheaper than a subscription, but only just. And that that kind of ruins it. Again, if you could buy this smaller amount, it would instantly make it more useful in the world, at least of indie game development. But this looks like it's only kind of useful in like a corporate setting where someone may be an occasional user and you can share those tokens among a large group of people. In which case, buying, say, 10,000 tokens and then kind of doing a pay-as-you-go between your employee might make sense, especially if they switch between applications quite a bit. Uh, but for you or I, you know, potentially the smallish indie development or if you're in a small team and you want to share between them, this pricing quickly becomes terrible. By the way, if you want to get into it, they do have a flex sheet here so you can see how many tokens each thing costs. You've got other things here. AutoCAD is down there as well, and, and their other tools are in Inventor is here, Motion Builder is here. Uh, a lot of their other stuff is available here as well, including some of these. Feature Camp, 30 tokens per day. Wow. Uh, but you can see what the per day cost is here. So if we look at uh, uh, where is Max or Maya? Again, they're not showing Max or Maya here, which is insane. Uh, but it was six tokens a day. So I think you're looking at about... Okay, Motion Builder's here. It's six tokens. So Max and Maya, Motion Builder, you're basically doing a pay-as-you-go rental, 24-hour window at $18 a day. Uh, unfortunately, you have to buy a whole lot of days up front. And that ruins it. Uh, but I'm curious here what you think of this. It's, it's a move in an interesting direction. Uh, it's just kind of, again... If they offered a much smaller tier, even if they had a $500 tier with 150 tokens in it, then it could be useful for some people like in our world. But as it stands, it's too expensive. And obviously, they don't want to uh, rob from their subscription pool. But they almost offered something really cool here, in my opinion, just missed. But let me know what you think of their new flex pricing. It's a move. Not sure it's a good one, but it's a move. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.